Welcome everyone. I'm Matt Seneca with PJ Tube, and we're here with our employee engagement video series. Thanks again for tuning in and thanks in, in addition to liking and subscribing and sharing all these videos. Hopefully you're having as much fun as we are. Uh, today we are joined by Cobain McMahon, an ACO operator at Manfred Tube. Uh, Cobain, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, and so you have something that I know zero about. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Aerial yoga was the first thing that popped up. Can yeah. Explain what that is. Um, so it's on an aerial sling, which is a silk hammock type thing where you wrap yourself up and you kind of like drop or you can flip upside down um, like circus au is how most okay. people would recognize it. Yeah. All right. That That's awesome. <laughs> how do you... How do you get into something like that? Or when did you get into that? So I started doing it, I want to say about a year and a half, like close to two years ago, I was at a D&D &D game with my friend and she started showing me pictures of her friend doing it. And I was like, I want to do this. And I looked it up the next morning and they had a class the next morning and uh -huh. I went to it. <laughs> was it kind of like a beginner class? They just show you the ropes, no pun intended, I guess, the silk. <laughs> Um, the class that I tried to go to was a choreo, like a choreography class. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know any of the moves, so I couldn't actually go to that one, but I did watch. And then I stayed for the next class, which was acro yoga, which is acrobatic yoga, where you hold each other up in the air. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So that's, yeah, that's awesome. Um, with, with that kind of, I'm assuming a lot of upper body strength at that point with some of these things. So is that, yeah. is that something that you have to work on, obviously? Uh, yeah, being in the class is the best workout. It uses a lot of muscles that I didn't think I had, like wrist <laughs> strength is very important. Right. And shoulder strength. And it, you can hold with your shoulders or your elbows, which are weird when you're holding on straight up. Okay. It's, they're muscles that we don't use. So the only way to build them is to actually do it. Wow. All right, and then in, in starting something like that, I mean, is it dangerous? Is it, I mean, I've seen people flying up, you know, 50 feet in the air, 100 feet in the air, so obviously that's dangerous, but starting out, is that kind of, do you have a net or something? No, so we're, like, it's not that high up. It's probably 10 feet, the highest that we can go. Okay. I have probably not been more than five feet off the ground. Okay. And it, I mean, it's safe. You're you're tied up. You won't really be able to flip yourself. Like I've got tied up to where I got stuck and had to have the instructor untie me. Oh, no. So it's pretty secure. Okay, that's good. That's good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you were before we hit record here. You were kind of discussing how uh, how this sort of led into more things as well, right? Yeah. So the place that I go, they teach more than just aerials, like aerial silks and aerial yoga. They teach like Lara and trapeze. I've been getting into contact staff. It's all circus arts. I've been getting into contact staff where you like roll the staff across your body. Right. And most people know that with the fire dancers. I right. can't, I can't light it on fire yet. I hit myself in the face too much, <laughs> but I'm getting there. Is there, is there a test that you have to go through at some point and then they say, okay, you are ready to light yourself on fire. Um, I have not inquired about that yet. I know that we have one girl who does do fire. I've seen her do fire shows with another group. My group doesn't actually do fire yet, hopefully yeah. soon. Right, right. If someone is looking to kind of start this and is interested in this, I mean, it's very, obviously it's, it's very extravagant and very cool looking and, and fun to do how do you how do you kind of go about doing that like you said you went to a start a, like a a beginner type class are there a lot of those around or is it just like one place so in the tulsa area i know of three places that do aerial silks and circus art stuff my group is more all circus arts most places are geared more towards just aerial silks but i've seen in colorado when we were driving through Colorado, there was a sign that said aerial silks here, and it was a gym. There are a lot of places that might do Zumba that would also do aerial silks okay. or something similar to it. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Well, cool. And then is it, is there anything at home you can do as well to kind of like, like you said, you got to really do it, but is there something that can help at home to keep kind of going on that? So I actually have my own aerial hammock at home so I can practice. I have, I have vaulted ceilings and I hung it up. So I'm able to do that and you can hang them over trees. Mm -hmm. But I've seen a lot of people who don't have them use uh, pull up bars because it's so similar. Like it's a lot of upper body strength. Right. It's got to be a lot more legs, but it was not. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thanks again for joining us. Really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll get this uh, posted pretty soon so you can share it with all of your friends and family. And uh, thank you to everyone else as well for, for continuing to join us week to week here and uh, getting, getting a look at kind of the personal lives of your coworkers and employees here at Webco and PJ Tube. Cobain, thank you again. Thank you. And we'll see you later. Bye, everyone. Bye.